Hello, welcome to Project Art Online. My name is Luciano Pimienta and I'm an interdisciplinary artist working mostly in ceramics and installation. I also teach project art classes in Los Angeles, California. Today we'll be exploring texture using the technique of rubbings. And hopefully by the end of the lesson, you'll have something that looks like this or this. Before we begin, let's make sure we have all our materials. For this lesson, you'll need paper. It could be any type of paper, any size. I have this copy paper um, and it's white, but you can use any, any kind of paper. Um, a pencil. A set of colored pencils. A sharpener. And scissors. Um, these next materials are optionals if you optional if you have them. Um, a ruler or straight edge. A hole punch. I'll show you what we use that for later. And some type of glue. I have paste here. If you don't have um, colored pencils, you can also use this technique using crayons. Uh, chalk pastels or oil pastels. If you're missing anything, pause the video, go ahead and grab the items and come back. If you already have everything, that's great. Um, let's go ahead and begin. So I'm going to show you three ways to work with rubbings. And the beginning it might seem very very easy and then the, the second version will be a little bit more challenging and the third one even a little bit more than that. So if you feel the first one's too easy, maybe you could move on to the next one and see if you prefer that better. So we're gonna need a, a sheet of paper and um, something to, that has texture. I went outside and took a walk and found these leaves. Leaves are one of the easiest ways to capture texture because they have these raised veins. If you notice, there's two sides to the leaf. One side is very smooth and the other side has bumpy um, veins. So we want the bumpy veins facing up. So when we do our rubbing, uh, these will capture um, the colored pencil. I'm gonna go ahead and use this leaf first. And you notice that I cut the stem. Um, and I did that um, so it could be um, easier if when it's flat. Okay, so you're going to take your leaf or the object you chose, put it underneath your paper, and lay it flat. You're going to go ahead and take a whatever colored pencil, colored, colored pencil you want, and you're going to hold your hand on top of the paper making sure that nothing moves. When you're doing the rubbing, instead of using your colored pencil like you usually use a pencil to write with this way, we're actually going to use the pencil on its flat side. So when we have it on a surface, the lead of it is what's um, doing the rubbing. Okay, so we'll hold it this way. So again, you're going to hold your paper flat, making sure the leaf doesn't move. And then you're going to go ahead and move your colored pencil or crayon or whatever medium you're using over the object. Now you're going to notice that depending on the pressure you put, you'll get a different result in the rubbing. So you could practice that um, the more rubbings you do. And that's basically it. That's a rubbing. So this is a fairly easy way to capture or transfer the information we see in this leaf onto this paper. Another thing you could do is you could take a lot of paper with you and take a walk and just go 
around and take, take um, rubbings off of different textures like the wall or the sidewalk, um, the bark of a tree or anything like that. Okay, another thing you can do with this is you can add multiple colors. So I have a sample here where I used the same leaf and I just did three different rubbings. One with yellow, one with green, and one with blue. You get multiple colors. Um, I have this next sample. It's a similar idea. Um, I, only, I only overlap the colors a little bit. Okay, so that, go ahead, that is um, the first version, the easiest version to capture a rubbing. I'm gonna go ahead and teach you another method. Um, and for this one, I found this mesh um, I think there was oranges in this from the grocery store, so I'm just recycling this material. Um, again, we're going to need another paper for this one. And this time I'm going to show you how to capture the texture inside a letter. Okay, I went ahead and printed out some letters here. I just went to a uh, word processor and I typed in these two letters. I made them really big, I used a 300 um, size font and then I put an outline on them and took off the color of the letter. But if you don't have a printer, that's okay, I'm going to show you how to make um, a letter that has uh, an outline of a letter like this on your own. Okay, so you're going to go ahead and get a sheet of paper, you're going to get your pencil. And you're going to write the letter that you want. You're going to go ahead and get a sheet of paper and you're going to write the letter that you want. So you notice on my alphabet um, up here, I'm missing the letter Z. So that's the one I'm going to concentrate on today and then I'll have the whole alphabet back here. So you're going to take your pencil and you're going to write the letter that you want. Um, when you do this, you're going to write it um, very, very lightly because we're going to erase this in a little bit. So there I have the letter Z. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to um, outline this letter that we made. And you're going to go around about half an inch. So here's the Z and here's about half an inch. So you'll notice as I go around how much that looks like. You could go more or less. And you're going to outline the whole letter. Just like that. And then you're going to take your eraser and you're going to erase the original letter that you wrote. So all you should have left is the outline of the letter. Okay, so I actually have um, a different one that I did already. It's a little bit lighter, but um, this is the one I'm going to use for this example. So again, you're going to take your texture, your texture and put your paper on top of it. Okay, just like that. And it's going to be this, a similar process to the original rubbing. Um, the only difference is that we have a shape now, this letter. And we don't have to stay inside the shape because I'm going to show you how to cut it out in a little bit. So again, you just take your um, color pencil, in this case I have this um, crayon, and you're going to just rub it um, over the paper and you'll get the texture. So this is what the texture came out of this plastic object. After you do that, you're going to go ahead and take your scissors and we're going to cut the letter out. You're going to make sure that you um, are cutting 
inside of your pencil mark. That way when you cut it out, you won't see it. And then you have the letter C with texture inside of this. So if you wanted to make a poster and um, have these letters on top, this is one way of creating um, interesting font for your posters. Okay, one thing I didn't talk about is what if the letter has an opening inside of it, like this A. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do this rubbing really quick and show you how to cut out the inside of the A. Again, I'm going to go ahead and cut the letter out. Then you're going to have the inside of the A still left. So you're going to go ahead and take um, your hole puncher and you can put your hole punch in the middle and it's going to create a hole there. That hole is going to allow, allow you to go ahead and put your scissors and cut the inside. If you don't have a hole punch, um, one thing you can do is you can go ahead and pinch the middle part, making sure you don't pinch the outside of the letter, and you're going to cut a little triangle, and that's going to create an opening as well. So then you're going to take your scissors and start cutting the inside. Then you have a letter with the hole the opening in the middle. Okay, so this is the second version. You could do um, different signs for celebrations, um, posters, um, or just your name and textured letters like this. The third version, it's a little bit more challenging. So the third version is um, a little bit more challenging in that you could use your imagination a lot more. So you don't have to rely on objects that you have found outside or in your neighborhood, but you can make the objects yourself. So you're going to take a scrap piece of paper and you're going to go ahead and draw whatever letters or shapes or anything that you want to make the rubbing up out of. I'm going to go ahead and draw. A water drop then I can cut that out Just like that. 
that. Then I could get um, a piece of paper. The, the object that I drew. Again, holding it down. Make your rubbing. Of the object. And the cool thing about that is you can use this object over and over again. To create um, patterns and designs. Okay. So a couple different things you can do with this next next technique is you can use different colored paper. So I used a dark colored paper here, and I just used white on top of the black paper. And this one, it's also um, a leaf print, but I used a brown paper. So you can use a different colored paper. Now to make it a little bit more um, challenging, you can go ahead and make words or make a poster and the one I'm gonna make today it's gonna say uh, thank you on it and I'm gonna use the words to I'm gonna use the words thank you on my poster and repeat them over and over okay so first I need to write the, the words thank you um, you can take a ruler and mark I'm, I'm going to make them fairly small, so I'm going to put two inches on either side, and then I, I put my ruler and I made a, a line across. I'm going to write the word thank you pretty big, and I'm going to make sure that there's some space in between my letters, because again, I'm going to outline, outline them, and if they're too close, there won't be enough space. Okay. Take my pencil again and outline all these letters. Even the inside. Okay, and then you're going to cut out the letters. Although this takes a while in the beginning, what makes it really cool is that once you have the letters, you can use them over and over again. So this part needs a little bit of patience, but the next part will be a lot faster. You're going to cut each individual letter out. Just like that. And I actually have most of these letters cut out already. Or some of these letters cut out. and cut the rest of them out.
And then again, you could use your hole punch to cut that inside all of the lead. Just like that. Okay, the next step you're gonna do is you're gonna get a, a sheet of paper. And you're gonna glue it to that paper. Okay, so one thing I like to do is to space out my letters so I can see how much space I have to work with. And then I can go ahead and start gluing. You want to make sure you don't put a lot of glue because we are doing rubbing so if you have too much glue on the bottom of your letters when you do your rubbing it will come out as texture. Okay, so then I have all my letters glued down. I went ahead and go ahead and get another sheet of paper. And I want you to, if you do have a ruler, you can measure out the spacing of your letters. So in my case, it was two inches. So I'm gonna go ahead and mark every two inches. On one side and again on the other side. You're going to take your ruler and just connect those dots together. And you're going to go all the way down. Actually, I already did it on the opposite side. So these are two inches apart. Then you're gonna take your thank you letters and line up the edge to the first line that you made. Taking another sheet of paper, you're gonna put it on top, lined up with the original paper, or the first paper, this one. And then you can go ahead and use your colored pencils. To do the rubbing. So I'm going to hold the paper down and I'm going to start Sharpen your pencil again. Okay, so then I have the rubbing of my cutout letters. I'm going to take your top paper off and slide your letters down to the next line. Take your paper again and line it up to the bottom paper. 
You can use the same color or choose another color. And do the next row. Take your top paper off again, move your letters down to another line that you made, put the paper back on, again lining up with the, the first paper. You're going to take another color if you like. Top paper off again, slide it down one more. Okay, and I'm just going to show you the top edge. So we're going to put our paper back again on that edge. I'm going to move my paper so you can see better. Take another color. Sometimes when you get to the edge, you have to go in one direction outwards so the paper doesn't get caught. Take the top paper off again, move it down to the last line. Take the top paper and go ahead and line it up with the original paper.
there you have your sign or your poster for all the thank yous are lined up okay I also did one in another color and you could do this with any um, words that you want I have another sample of so this one you can't really see what it says but on top I put art makes me present and I went ahead and did this rubbing from it so I could get a lot of posters that look exactly the same or very similar quickly and then I also made a background to it which is these palm trees right here and when I combined them I put this one first and then I put the letters down. This is what I got. So you can combine different textures underneath. So I have the palm trees in the background and then these words on this poster. Thank you for joining me today. If you post any images of this project, please tag at Project Art USA on Instagram and or Facebook and make sure you use the hashtag Project Art Online. I'd love to see what you've made.